one of the most misunderstood and misused words in the wine world is this word right here, dry. And the reason it's misunderstood is because of this word right here, canon. I was a sommelier at a Napa Valley steakhouse for years, and these two words got mixed up, interchanged, and thrown around a lot. But I absolutely understand why. The reason that tannin gets interchanged with dry all the time is because that is the feeling that tannin creates in your mouth. Like someone just threw a bunch of cotton balls in your mouth and sucked all the moisture out. If you've ever oversteeped your black tea or eaten the skin of a peach, that's tannin at work. Tannin is a feeling more so than a taste, and it's coming from two potential places in our wine. The skin, stems, and seeds of the grape. And number two, the oak the wine is aged in. We really only ever experience tannin in red wine, since that's typically the only wine that spends time on its skins and is generally aged in oak. While the amount of tannin that we feel in a wine can vary depending on how it's made, it can also vary from grape to grape. For example, Pinot Noir is a low tannin grape, whereas Cabernet Sauvignon is a high tannin grape. Other thing to note is that tannin should not be confused with body, because while tannin does contribute to the weight and structure of the wine, you can have a high tannin grape produce a medium bodied wine. Nebbiolo is a great example of this. Conversely, winemakers can employ different techniques to make the feel of the tannins a little bit softer. So if you were to employ this info in real life, you might say something like, I'd like a full bodied wine with softer tannins, or I prefer a medium bodied wines with grippy, intense tannins. And what does dry mean? Dry in wine speak is the opposite of sweet.